Hey, what's up you guys? Kamusta? Ian here and welcome back to our channel. So it's been a long time coming, but now GMA officially announced their terrestrial digital TV service and their hardware product is called GMA Afford the Box. Based pa lang sa pangalan niya guys, we might think that mura lang siya, di ba? In fact, it's only priced at 888 pesos. This product launching is part of GMA Network's 70th anniversary and I think magugustuhan nyo to guys, especially if you're a diehard kapuso. So in this video guys, pahinga muna tayo sa smartphones, tablets, or laptops. We will be looking into this product. So there are two things that we will do in this video. First, we will unbox this product. So titignan natin kung ano yung mga nasa loob niya. And second, I'll show you how to set up and get this started in your TV sets. So, ready na ba kayo? Let's go! So this is the GMA Afforda box. There's nothing special in mind about the box, you guys, since I think it's very informative. Up here we have the main features ng digital TV box. Sabi dito it's a multimedia player. It's also a personal video recorder, and isa sa mga pinaka importante is that. It has a nationwide emergency warning system and function auto alert feature. At this side, we have the same features, only that it comes with icons. They have their customer service hotline at this side and the QR code reader, which leads us to their website. Of course, the warranty information over here. And I think the bottom side is just a repetition of what we have discussed so far. So let's unbox this. Let's go. Okay, first off, Marantang remote control. May dalawang AAA battery, and then there's a there's an AV cables or the RCA cables. I know most of you are very familiar with this since I think this is the most common cable sa mga households natin. Of course, we have this indoor antenna and the main unit itself. We also have some important documentations like. The warranty card, installation guide, and the manual. So, ito na guys, check out all the out of the box items. So, syempre, we go ahead with the GMA for the box, but first we have to get the plastic, alright? So, you can see the power button and the channel buttons in the main interface. And you can also see the USB port, so basically, this is where we plug our USB. There's nothing fancy about the build. It's some kind of plastic. That's why medyo magaan lang siya. And you can carry it around your house or set it up in multiple TVs in every rooms if you want. So okay, sa likod, we have some important ports here. The antenna in and the antenna out. We also have a separate coaxial port. And we also have the HDMI port in case you want to set it up with your LED TVs, LCD TVs. And of course, we have the audio video ports here for the RCA cables. Alright, since tapos na tayo sa unboxing, we will go now to the setup. And um, of course, first off, we have the RCA connector. I know most of you are familiar with these connectors. So basically, if you're using an analog TV with audio and video ports, we can use this cable. It comes with a video coaxial connector and a pair of coaxial connectors for the left and right audio. It is easy to install naman kasi color coordinated lang siya. So at this end, we'll connect it to the GMA for the box, RCA ports, and the other end naman sa port ng TVs natin. So up next, we have the indoor antenna. Um, we have here the antenna stand. So kunin lang natin yung rubber at this part and this is because I think this is where we need to install the antenna. Kung mapapansin nyo, may parang thread dito sa base ng antenna so we just have to put it sa stand in a screw-like manner. And of course, ang other end of the coaxial connector, we need to plug it in the ant-in port of the affordable box. So that's it. I think we're ready to go. Of course, if you're using an LED TV or LCD TV, I think the most common port is the HDMI port. So just like what we will be using in our setup, so I think kailangan nyo rin ng HDMI to HDMI cable like this. So take note, hindi ito kasali sa box guys. Nabili ko ito sa Lazada for just around 90 pesos. So if you want the link, I'll try to put it down below. So once na-plug na natin ang GMA for the box and ang TV natin sa power source, 
we just need to set up the input source sa TV natin. So, in case sa setup natin, naka-HDMI 2 tayo. But of course, for those of you who will be using an RCA cable, I think you just have to press the TV AV button in your remote control. So, after that, we will be greeted with the main interface of the GMA for the box. As you can see, we have six tabs which has specific functions. So first one is the program when we can, where we can see the program guide. And then we have pictures or picture if we want to view some photos in a USB. Then we have channel search. We have options, system, and USB. So we need to set our location first. Pili natin ang option tab and then select our location. So in my case, since I'm in Cavite, my region is Calabarzon and um, the municipality or city, I placed it or I set it up to Cavite. So after that guys, punta tayo sa channel search and then we just have to choose yes when asked for auto search. So after that, I think you're good to go. Kabilang ang mga PCG personnel sa mga naatasang tumulong sa implementasyon ng quarantine protocols. So for a one-time fee na 888 pesos, I think sulit na sulit si GMA for the box. It is a great treat for the network's loyal viewers for the past 70 years. So if you have questions guys about the GMA for the box, i-comment nyo lang below. You know I'm always there in the comment section, right? So that's it for me guys. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to my below. And you can also hit that bell notification icon for you to get notified when we post new videos. So guys, get a good side next time and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!